Hi, my name is Bernd Mersch from the University of Bonn. Today I would like to talk about our work automatic labeling to generate training data for online LIDAR-based moving object segmentation. Given a raw point cloud, as shown on the left, it is often not easy to see what is happening around us. In this case, additional semantic information could help to get a better understanding of the environment. But depending on the task, different semantics might be more important than others. So if you, for example, think about uh, localization mapping, the information about moving and non-moving parts could be more important. So the task of LiDAR moving object segmentation is to decide for each point if it belongs to a moving object or not. On the right we show some examples, like moving objects in red, such as the driving car or cyclists, and some static objects in black, such as a parked car or the buildings around us. In this work, we exploit a deep learning based approach that takes as an input a sequence of LiDAR scans and outputs a semantic, a binary semantic mask of moving and non moving. Our goal is to find a way to automatically generate training data for this approach in an online fashion and use this data to train the model when being deployed in different environments. So, in general, moving object segmentation is a crucial capability for mobile robots to perform tasks like collision avoidance predicting future states of the environment, for planning or for building static maps. And there exist already a lot of deep neural networks that perform well on this task. However, a lot of them or most of them share one bottleneck, which is the necessity of having labeled training data. So we have a large amount of publicly available LiDAR datasets out there, but a lot of them are either not labeled in terms of moving objects or have limited labels. But since labeling is a tedious process, you want to find a way to automate this. If you think about deploying the method in a new environment, you would need to go there, collect data, label it, and then train your method to make it work. So our idea is to have a novel, modularized approach to generate MOS labels in three LiDAR scans in an automatic fashion and also in different environments. So let's have a look at our architecture. So this uh, mo um, approach consists of multiple modules and these can be interchanged depending on the environment. We will here show one realization of it. We start with a sequence of LiDAR scans and pass these to an odometry uh, or SLAM system. With this we want to get poses, so the relative transformation between the scans, and these do not need to be perfect, they're just a reasonable guess for the next steps. So next we want to uh, find dynamic points by applying a dynamic point removal method. And these removed dynamics serve as our first rough proposals for moving objects. To do this, we deploy a consistency or visibility-based method that usually voxelizes the space and then checks if a voxel is free or occupied from different points in time. Since these are just points that we segmented into moving and non-moving candidates, we next want to find instances. So we apply an instance clustering to get more refined moving object proposals. To do this, we use a clustering method which is called HDB scan, which is density based and applies in hierarchical clustering. After this, we can extract 3D bounding boxes, which are now further processed. These 3D bounding boxes are still not perfect and also likely not consistent over time. So, next, we want to track these 3D bounding boxes over time using a Kalman filter. And this gives us temporarily consistent tracks of moving objects. These tracks will be used in the next step to reason about the motion of the objects. So from the tracking we get information like the travel distance or the speed and we use these to decide if an object moves or not. So again, this is an offline label generation method and cannot be used for online operation. But the advantage of having an offline label generation method is that for a single scan, we can use basically preceding and succeeding scans to have a more informed decision about the moving objects in the scan. So with our method, you can record a LiDAR sequence and you do not need to do manual annotation. You can just extract the moving objects. We then use these MOS labels for our training, deep neural network, uh, basically a LiDAR MOS network. And in our case, we use LMNet, which is an online method that works on residual range images. Here we show some quantitative results of LMNet on the Semantic KT moving object segmentation benchmark with different training setups. 
In the first row, you see the setup of training LMNet with the manual annotations provided by the benchmark. The second row shows the setup with the same amount of training data, but using our automatically generated labels. And you can see that this still achieves a reasonable moving object uh, segmentation performance. In the third row below, you can see the result of using a setup where we additionally add extra training data from different domains, where we also infer the labels with our approach. This boosts the results and improves upon the manual labels, showing that extra data automatically labeled can improve the LiDAR MOS performance. Next, we want to show how well our approach generalizes in different data sets. And we show accumulated point cloud maps for the Apollo and the Mulran data sets. So these are collected in different environments. And we basically show the results before cleaning the moving objects and after. So we infer moving objects using our approach and then remove these uh, traces from the maps. So you see that this works quite well. The traits of moving objects are removed. And this shows that we can infer the labels in different environments and then, as shown before, use these to enhance the performance of our moving object segmentation methods. So to summarize, we present a method to automatically generate LiDAR labels in an offline fashion and then use these to train a network in a self-supervised way. This saves a lot of labor and money compared to having manual annotations, and we can additionally use these automatically generated labels to train on different environments. We show that this improves the LiDAR MOS performance compared to using manual labels. Thank you for your attention.